Check out that catfish. Are you freaking kidding me right now? What is going on guys and welcome back to another John Boat to Bass Boat Conversion video. So in this video, I want to get all of this framing connected and then get the sheet metal connected to the framing. So let's get started. So I need to take off all of this metal, all the sheets, which isn't easy to do now because it's all flush. Boom. All right, so here is all of the framing. So I'm just gonna be connecting this to the lip that is underneath it. So I need to drill a bunch of holes in the lip. All right, now the hard part. Now I need to go underneath and drill through all those holes I just made. And then uh, we should be able to just rivet into place. Hopefully, that's the plan. There's one done. I feel like the rest of this will be done in the boat. So I'm just gonna scoot on down. Texas. Oh, probably Amazon. Oh, there's the fish light. Guys, UPS just dropped off a box and check out what we got. We got the green light, baby. Heck yeah. I wasn't expecting this until the 28th, so we actually got it sooner. That is awesome. Let's plug it in and see how bright she is. Boom. All right, boys, y'all ready? Boom. Oh, oh, man. That thing is bright. Heck yeah, man. That will work good. Let's get back on the John boat. I'm going to get these dang lids connected because they've just been sitting there this whole time. Let's get them connected, get this whole framing and decking done before I leave the Tennessee. Oh, by the way, guys, I need to tell y'all something. On October 8th, we were having a Tin Can Crew meetup. It's gonna be pretty sick, a meet and greet. We're out in Dayton, Tennessee at the PB Large. So October 8th, it's a Friday. Come on down, have some food. We'll have burgers, hot dogs, everything for y'all guys. Just come down, meet us, check out the boats. We're going down to Tennessee to go build a boat. So we have 10 days to build a complete boat. It's gonna be pretty cool. I'm excited about that. And also we're gonna be doing a whole bunch of fishing. So uh, sadly, my boat won't be done in time to go, but uh, ah, that sucks. Anyways, Michael Lopez will have his honey boat that he just built and there's gonna be a whole bunch of cool boats out there. So come on out, meet us, have a good time, check out the boats and eat some food. But uh, yeah, let's get back to working on this thing. Whenever I bent the lips on here, it, it didn't bend straight exactly. It kind of made, it's like that. The part closest to the wall of the boat has a curve on it and then it's straight. So I'm not putting this piece butted all the way up against the wall because it is it tilts. It will tilt like that. That's straight, that's tilted. So I'm just putting it on the very edge of the lip and that is making it all straight. Also guys, last night I was doing a bunch of research. I was thinking how much this thing is already weighing in my head and I was like, man, should I put foot pods on this thing? We could put foot pods on it. Oh, they'll be back here. With I'd have to move the fish finder. 10 inches. I could scoot this over here make it 12, make it match the other side. But uh, they say this is the best spot for it, to the a little bit to the right. I don't know, but I was definitely thinking of adding some float pods back here just to help with the weight. Float pods can add like 115 pounds of flotation on your boat. And the whole reason I built the back of this boat so light was because the last build, it sat so low in the water in the back and float pods would just even it out, so. I don't know, we'll see. What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments. Should I add foot pods to this thing or not? All 
right there is this whole entire side attached feeling good looking good now i need to go ahead and attach this so this piece as you can see there's no lips to attach but what i'm going to do with this piece is attach it to the hinge also making the hinge stronger as well so this is going to be support for this lid as well as for the deck the only thing i need to worry about with this is making sure i don't put a rivet here where there's a rivet here because then they'll hit and this lid won't close but other than that this will be pretty simple and easy that's all my weight on this big lid there's like a tiny tiny bit of flex but it is solid i'm happy we're looking good with these lids this belt ain't gonna have no flex all right that piece is in and that just added a lot more support to this whole system here and this lid so adding this piece here was the final piece of support for this hinge with that and all this up and down support there's no way this thing is going to bend ever which i'm happy about i've been talking about adding that piece in for a while now and it's finally added in that also finishes off wait i need to do the same thing there I might as well do it now while i'm in the boat All right, that one is done. Eh. All right, so now we got all of this, all of this, that, and that done. All right, need to do the same thing for this piece here. Drill through the hinge, making the hinge stronger. Another thing, I've been talking about putting a battery up here and I've been looking into lithium batteries just because they're about half the weight of a normal battery. So I'm probably gonna bite the bullet and go get a lithium battery for the front just so it's not as heavy bouncing around up here. So yeah, instead of a 60 pound battery, we'll have a 30 pound battery. So we'll save some weight there. Everyone says they're worth the investment. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Also, I need to order some freaking latches. I have yet to do it. All right, so we got this whole side attached here and I could go ahead and go around and get all this attached and whatnot, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and attach the side pieces because I want to. It's gonna look cool. Push it in. Money, beautiful. With aluminum, I would say the worst part of aluminum builds is the countersinking. I thought that would be the hinges, but honestly the hinges aren't that bad on aluminum builds. All right, there is one piece installed, never moving again. I still even have this one attached. That will get done today too. Guys, I have been keeping a huge secret from y'all and I think it's time to let y'all know. 
uh, I finally went out and bought a bass boat. Also, a fifth wheel trailer. Oh, and a brand new truck as well. Y'all wanna see it? You wanna see it? It's time, I think it's time for y'all to see it. Boom. Eagle HT Nitro 27. And check out that truck. Guys, I am so freaking excited for that. Just kidding, that's not mine. <laughs> The neighbors are having a yard sale across the street and uh, someone just randomly pulled up and I figured I'd take full advantage of that. Do you like how I didn't even know what to call the boat? I'm all 27 Nitro, uh, <laughs> never had a Nitro before. Not sure how their names work. But yeah, not mine guys, totally kidding. I've not found a bass boat yet. Haven't even been able to look because I've just been too busy building this thing out. But uh, soon, maybe, maybe, we'll see. Like I said, I want to fish with this first and then we'll decide. But yeah, sorry to mess with y'all like that. Let's get back to building this boat. Those two pieces attached. Looking freaking sweet, man. Yeah. Look how sturdy that is. Yeah. So I may do or may have to do this framing attaching it to the metal. So attach that. Of course, this piece is stuck there. But there's no real way for me to attach all this to all this because it, I can't get to it. It's all foam. So my idea was to have it like this, trace it out on the back side with a marker, drill all the holes through the back side and then rivet that into place that way. That's how we're gonna do this one. And then this one will just be attached along here and along here. That should be enough to hold everything. He's doing. Should I step on this? See how she feels. Dude, that's solid. Just my toes in the middle. Oh yeah, no flex whatsoever. Freaking sweet. That is definitely enough support underneath. All right, so now we can drop this piece back in place and then we'll need to attach it to this. So that is with the hinge. And then that is about half an inch off back here. And I can see that side, so we should be good. <laughs> there we go. Oh yeah. She's tight and she's perfect. Heck yes.
Boom! Corner piece is added. Dude, yes. It's actually hard to pick up too. I was worried this side would be all floppy, but it's actually hard to pick up. And that is because this piece here, it goes all the way to over here to this piece. So that's making that pretty hard to pick up. Awesome, it's all solid. It will never fly out the boat, a good deal. We got quite a bit of rivets over here too, just to make sure it's all strong. Sweet, there's three pieces done. Like I said, I think I'm gonna go ahead and attach this little metal here. All right, I just remembered, before I add this metal piece, I want to add three pieces of square tubing. One in the corner, one in the middle, and one here, just to support this piece because it's not very strong. I can move it. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. And then we can actually get that piece of metal all riveted back together because it's still loose from two videos ago. All right, we've got two. That was a process, but this whole wall is not supported. I could stand on that, no problems. All right, we got that done. Ow, cramp, not good. All right, so now that is how that looks inside there and that is solid, no flex. Now we can go ahead and attach this piece. Double check it one more time. This is the last time she'll move. Looking good. I lied, she moved on me. <laughs> That door is done. Got the metal attached. I still need to add hat channel to this door, but uh, we'll do that in the next video. We also got this wall attached again. Good deal, man. We got all that done. We got this corner piece attached and all of these sides pieces attached as well. So pretty much this whole side of the boat and back is all done. Still need to get this one done and of course recut that piece over there, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and call it quits, man. I've been out here since 11 a.m. It is now 4.50 p.m. So I'm going to go edit this video and then head out to the lake and go test out the green light I just got in the mail. So uh, guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.